Monoflex X Lab System. For repairs in the bead area of giant OTR tyres with a bead sole width between 4 inches and 8 inches, the tyre used in this video has a 4.5 inch wide bead. Components Control panel TRRSD, bead heat pad 4.0 inches wide XLAB 1H, wrap heat pad XLAB WH, bead airbag 6 inches wide XLAB 1A, wrap airbag XLAB WA, housing XLAB H. Utilising over 40 years experience, the Monoflex system has been developed to be hard-wearing, efficient and as simple to use as possible. Location of the worksite should be chosen so that the tyre and the Monoflex equipment are close enough to the control panel to prevent strain on either the electrical or air connections. Rotate the tyre so that the repair area is positioned centrally at the bottom. Choose the correct size bead heat pad and airbag. According to the XLAB application chart, Liberally cover both sides of the heat pads with tyre talc to reduce friction in use. Clear any excess talc from the surface of the pads. Before use, it's recommended that both the heat pads are preheated to approximately 50 degrees centigrade or 122 degrees Fahrenheit to increase flexibility and aid installation on the tyre. Connect the wraparound heat pad, XLAB WH, to the left control lead and the bead heat pad, XLAB 1H, to the right control lead. To preheat, Power up the control panel and hold down the start button on the timer. The displays will illuminate and show the current temperature. Wait for both heat pads to reach between 50 degrees centigrade and 70 degrees centigrade. Press and hold the stop button on the timer. Place the bead heat pad centrally over the repair area with the labels facing down and the cables exiting to the left. Position the bead airbag centrally over the heat pad with the valve on the left. Drop the wraparound heat pad centrally over the bead airbag so that it hangs equally down either side of the repair area. The label side should be facing the repair with the cables exiting to the right. If you haven't done so already, place the rubber and metal washer on the valve stem of the XLAB WA airbag and screw the valve nut down finger tight. Screw the black air hose onto the valve and tighten with a spanner. Loosen the valve nut back up to the air hose after it's been attached to allow free movement of the covers. Place the wraparound airbag over the components so that the valve is central at the top. Check that the other components are still properly aligned. Take the inside leg of the housing and position in place on one side of the repair. Insert the support bar of the outer frame through the receiving tube of the inner. It may be necessary to use one or two of the spacers depending on the width of the bead. Insert the threaded locking rod through the two frames. Place the rubber washer followed by the metal washer before screwing on the wing nut. Tighten down to hold the housing firmly in place over the components. There should be as little separation between inner and outer sections as possible. Do not over tighten as this can restrict airbag inflation. Position the other half of the housing and repeat the locking process, making sure the locking rods on both sides have a similar separation and if used, an equal number of spacers. Insert the four pins between the handles to keep the two sides of the frame equally separated. Connect the black air supply line to the wraparound airbag and the blue air line to the bead airbag. With the incoming air tap open, use the black regulator knobs to adjust the pressure on the wraparound airbag to 32 psi and the bead airbag to 28 psi. When set correctly, lock off by pushing the regulator knobs down to click. Prior to final inflation, Check that all leads and electrical connections are securely connected and that nothing is trapped between the system and the tyre. The metal frame should be clear of the airbag valves. Commence inflation of the bead airbag by pulling down the blue slide valve on the left-hand side of the control panel. When it reaches approximately 15 psi, pull down and open the slide valve down for the wraparound airbag. 
Both airbags will rapidly come up to operating pressure. Check that the components are sitting correctly against the bead and if necessary, adjust the airbag pressures using the regulators and slide valves. To begin the cure process, press down the start button on the timer. When the temperature on both heat pads reaches approximately 120 degrees centigrade, press the set button on the timer and the digits will start flashing. Press the up and down buttons to adjust to the desired time. Press the set button again to set the cure time. The panel will now begin to count down. The temperature will rise to 140 degrees centigrade. When the timer has counted down to zero, the curing cycle is complete and power to the heat pads will be shut down. Disconnect both the heat pads. Exhaust air from both airbags first by pulling the slide air valves to the off position and then the quick release couplings can be disconnected from the airbag hoses. When the air has completely exhausted, release the locking rods and remove the X-Lab assembly from the tyre. Points to remember. Always thoroughly dust both sides of the heat pads with talc before use. Do not lift the heat pads by the leads. Ensure heat pad is installed in the correct orientation. Never remove the locking pins until all the air has exhausted. Do not leave the equipment unattended. The power supply must be disconnected at the end of the working day. A better finish can be achieved by allowing the repair to cool below 100 degrees centigrade before releasing the pressure. Monoflex Tire Repair Systems, 40 years of industry-leading repair solutions. Monoflex offers complete repair solutions for any size tire, quality components, exceptional durability and first-class global support and training. If you need further assistance, don't hesitate to get in touch via mail at monoflex.com or visit our website, monoflex.com.